Wait, wait. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, we good. Ah, hello. Oh, that's some good ass tea. Well, welcome. Hello. Hi. Welcome to this gym. I'm doing art today. Some, some, some art, 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 art things. <laughs> oh god. Now, before you say there's no lag on the art system, it's fine, it normally does this. Oh no, wait. Is it working? Ah, oh, yo, wait, why is it switched? Hold on. My screen does this all the time. Hold on. This is one. Okay. Make this the main display. Nice. Okay, sick. I should. I don't know why I can't. Hold on. One minute. Why is it doing this? Hello, bestie. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Oh my god, you could see it now! Lurking time. Thank you. Thank you for the lurk. Yee. Alright. Wait, let me... Oh, fuck. Mimi, big boy. <laughs> Mimi, big boy. Oh, that's a rubber. Wrong up. 
Thank you. Daddy a lot. <laughs> so, um... Ultimately, I have been holding this one off for quite a while, just because of how tedious it is. But, uh... I... Look at that face. Look at that handsome face. <gasps> I need references. Hold on. Hold on. I need a reference of it. Oh, I'm so dumb. Hold on. One minute. Be a like a bay. Good man. Huh? No. That's not what I want. Any reference of it is from Glam Mama herself. Themself. Them? Themself. <laughs> I'll say that. It's like... Hold on. There we go, that's better. Alright. Hideous. Whereas. Oof. Kitties. <laughs> right, ultimately, I don't know where to start, so, um, let me just open up because I don't want you guys seeing my files. That's, a uh, private stuff. Very private shit. Bottom. What am I doing again? I know what I'm doing, hold on. I'll be right back, hold on, let me just open up some stuff. I didn't mean to open it up. Wow, why are his legs so lanky? I'm looking at his reference photo. My god, god damn. Um, let's see if I can just open it from here, maybe. Oh, good, it doesn't actually show up. Nice. Um, quick access, maybe? No. Uh, where would it be? Hold on. Okay, there we go. Alright, we doing... Alright, we got the goods. God damn, he is... A handsome, handsome man. Handsome man. Can I not... Unsupported file! I... Face. I'm gonna have to go to his Twitter to get it. God damn. God damn it, man. Why can't you have your. What? Foxy. Why can't you just. Oh, yeah. Right, where's his. Oh, God. Everything's going bad. Hold on. There we go. Sir, I require your... Uh... I require... Your... Thumbnail. Not thumbnail. No. <laughs> what do I need from this man? <laughs> it's fucking... It's the... <laughs> Reference sheet, that's it. Hold on. This is going great. I can't spell.
Give me the... Let's up, let's go, call it. Alright, sick. Save him, Jazz. I'd rather like it as a PNG. Another JPEG. But you know what? You do you, sir. You do you. Okay. Alright. Wow, I am so unprepared today. Jesus Christ. I thought I was like, yeah, I have everything for this. No, I don't. I'm a liar. Let's go! Finally! That. <laughs> Damn, Mama. You really didn't do my man. Like, you didn't do him good. You didn't, you didn't dirty. It looks amazing, but no cake! No cake! Wait, what's this illustration? Nothing. Ah, uh, makes sense. However, I couldn't give him cake because, you know, it's just... But yeah, this is Vox Akuma is, uh, is Zhongli from Genshin. I need his fucking reference image as well! <laughs> I hate this! Alright, where's the man? Where's him? Where is he? Uh, no, I want, no, I don't want to use this flash art. I'll use the wiki. I don't want it as a WebP file. What do you think I am, a pleb? No. Give me the goods. Give me the goods, sir. Give me the goods. Oh, there's more of you. Hi. <laughs> uh, give me the goods. Give me the goods. I. It's a fucking WebP file. Uh, can the uh, Genshin community come together and just give me his PNG, please? I don't want the videos. Okay, all right, all right. I think. Hold on, let me see if I can see full image. Full image. Let me. Am I able to say below this? No? Are you just being stingy? Web browsers, are you just being stingy? What's the web file? No! I... Hate this. I hate this a lot. Why would it give me like this? Hold on. You know what? <laughs> I'm tired of this. I'm tired. I just want. I just want to start. I really should have became prepared. Want? I don't want a WebP file. I have to go to Twitter and find it. Hold on. Ugh. Genshin. Impact. Don't flee. If you don't give me. All right, shit. Hold on. Minimize itself. Fantastic. I'm gonna have an aneurysm from this. I feel like there's there's there is definitely a chance for me. Oh my god, some of this fan art is amazing. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Cause they had like the vagabond um thing and that is just zongchi okay all right uh can i not just have this one thing please i'm gonna do i have to go to the genshin impact twitter and find it because that's gonna be from like ages ago let's see if uh they actually have the tweet from Genshin Impact from like two years ago when he got released. Please. Well then. Is it not? Oh, uh, it's not that. Why is it so hard trying to find a. Well then, they open it in a new tab. Not WebP. Oh! Any 
anything but web P, please. Uh. Do you have anything with uh, Mr. Zhongli on it? Genshin Impact Twitter, please? Hold on, hold on. Zhongli reference. Let's, uh, do, do, do. Ah ha ha, there's none. I can't, oh my god, okay, hold on. Oh, this is amazing. Um. Ah, uh, this is, this is going great. You could just, you, <laughs> that's good to see. <laughs> Let me let me show you the whole thing because I think this looked pretty good. Considering I don't like drawing men. Not not because I'm sexist or anything. I just like titties, okay? <laughs> I just I don't think I've ever had like real experience with drawing men because my kind of just experience with drawing men is just through GCSE art, and I don't want to go through that trauma again, especially because every single time I try and draw a man, it would come out looking like a very glorified. I don't want to say the word because someone's gonna have a go at me for saying it, but um, it would just look bad. It would just look very bad. Am I gonna have to use? It's not even HD. Oh, I found his, um, wish banner art, but it's not even HD. It's... Hold on. Let me see if I can find, uh, Genshin. Genshin. Genshin Impact Reference Photos. Let's see if I can find it. I am not downloading from Pinterest. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Hold on, wait. Have I just have I just found the the jackpot? No, I haven't! His page is gone! No, that's so unfair. I just found like the best reference photo I could for this man. Because it had all the angles and it even had like the in inner shirt, which is what I'm doing! But no! It just comes up with Sorry, this page cannot be found. Uh. Why? 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 I I I hate it here. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. There's a lot of Zhongli. There's a lot of Zhongli for reference. But I just kind of want his slash art photo because that's the best one. Uh, hold on. Are you gonna give me the goods? Oh my god! Another disappointment. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself, I should have got the reference image for. I'm pretty sure- wait a minute, wait a fucking minute, hold on. Let me do some- let me do some magic between two systems, okay? Let me do the unholy matrimony of an apple and <laughs> a window product. Hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure I have a reference photo on my iPad. If not, I can always get one from Google on my iPad because it will come up as a, J, like a JPEG or a PNG, which is amazing. Windows products. Chrome for Windows. Why can't you do that, you ugly bastards? Um, Zhongli reference. Let's go. Uh, where's his? Yes. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm pretty sure I can just send it to. You. Yeah, share. Uh, email. Gmail. Gmail. Gut milf. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's not actually going to come as like an actual thing. Um, hold on. I only need like half of it, so that's fine. Uh, save image. Let me go to my photo camera roll. Let me get this image. Let me send it to myself on Google Drive or something. Because God forbid two opposing 
companies make a deal and just have like sharing systems. It's unfair. I know that's what Google like Google Drive is there for, but man, can't I just send something on my iPad to my computer without having to like go for a third party? I want it to be so simple. It's not simple. All right, hold on. I got the best uh, reference image I could for a man, which is only his uh, little kind of bookmark thing, but it's high quality, so I don't care. And besides, I don't need his face, I just need the clothes. That sounds really bad out of context. That kind of sounds bad out of context, actually, when I think about it. Can I open you and download you? Thank you. Bless up, it's PNG. I love that for myself. Um. Thank God it's there! Let's fucking go. Now we can start. Holy shit. Now we can start. Now we can start. Finally, now we can start. Alright, okay. So. I think first of all, what I like to do is I like to get the face in first, so... You... Damn, this man is white! <laughs> oh, this man is white! Hold on. Also, it's uh, not the best photo of Mr. Voxakuma. Like... Uh... Straight up. Let me see if I can upload the... Uh... I can. Maybe... If I upload it, never mind, it's still gonna be WebP. Still gonna be WebP. Back to the iPad, hold on. You know what? His reference photos do come in handy, but oh my god, when you go close. Oh god, no. Wait, I didn't mean to go that far on Google. Hold on. But yeah, when you go up onto it, it's like, why is it going for Google and not for my face? Reset! You old you bastard. Okay, so when you like it's not HD, which I thought it would be. Kinda of pixelated. But you know what? That's fine. Cause it's it's okay. But I'm going to add another reference photo. Oh god, my iPad's only got four percent. Oh Jesus Christ. Um okay. Let me just Vox Elkuma. Aluma. Vox Aluma. Vox Aluma. Uh, Vox's cousin from Alabama or something. I don't know. Um, let me just get this lost out. Uh, send it to myself on Google Drive again. Where are you? There you are. God, give me a jump scare. Uh, drive, drive. Shut up and drive. Around his best song. <laughs> I'm going. Crazy. Vox Sims Assemble! That's fine! I can't say that on Twitch! No! Wait! No! You can't say that on Twitch! They banned the word! They banned the word S-I-M-P! You can't say that on Twitch anymore! No! I'm so sad about that because I would have been calling everybody an S-I-M-P from the second I got on here. Please, tell me it's up. Yes! Why did it do it twice? Let me download the bastard, thank you. Absolutely sickening. Sickening, honey! Come through, wave forward. <laughs> Let's get sickening! Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Come through, season. Wave, wave four. Come through, wave four. Let's get sickening! Come on, season. <laughs> Come on, wave four, let's get sick Um Beautiful man. Um white as literal Are we the same Hold on. Wait, are we the same? Are we the same velocity? Are we? I can't actually tell. I think we might be. Who knows? <laughs> just jumping. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, maybe, maybe I'm as white as him. But uh, what I like to do 
is if my thing could not move. Thank you. Um, first of all, if you'd like to know what uh, products and programs I'm using, using Clip Studio Paint for my painting programs, and uh, I've got the box here. I got the Artist 12 Pro Line Friends Edition EX Pen, XP Pen, uh, drawing tablet. I got it like last year, September, and it's been a godsend because I've always had drawing tablets that haven't had like the screen on it, and having one with a screen has helped so much. Holy shit, it's so good. So um. What I like to do is I like to make a new color palette. I know it takes a long time. Uh, great new set. Call it a uh, Vox Akuma um, color pal pilk pilk color pilk. Let's go color pilk. Okay. Boy, does that man talk about Pilk more than he does about his own stream. <laughs> so, colour Pilk. No colours in there. Let's add some. Is that...? No, hold on. Put some in there. Get some of the shading. Now, a lot of people will think, oh, is this is this cheating? No! It's not, because using colour samples and taking samples from the artwork is fine, as long as you don't actually, like, you know, trace the whole artwork. Or trace the artwork at all because that is not considered your own work and you need to be detained for that because that is uh not good not good behavior if you want to be an artist not a good look especially if you want to like you know post it on twitter and uh have people see especially maybe even the vtuber see in question, for example, I've been seeing a lot of people use trace artwork for uh, different VTubers, and it's just like, bro, you know, if you wanted to, like, actually get them to notice you, just, you know, draw yourself and don't use other people's artwork to get quick reactions and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I will be. Also, posting this to Twitter when it's done and tagging the box because I feel like I need to see this. It'd be cool. Uh, what else do I need to take from his gorgeous ass face? Um, hair color, that's it. Depending on what I get done today, maybe? Uh,. Anything else need for space? God, we're getting rid of you. Okay. Love that you were there. Not anymore. Alright, so... Face. You got lips. Homeboy does have lips. I will be adding a little bit of colour to them, though. Because... Right now, he'd be looking like hee-hee. I wanted to make him look like... He's hot. Also, I didn't realize you can see his other eye in this actual, in like his model. I thought it was just like fully kind of clothed over his fucking hair. <laughs> I hope I got this All right. Hold on. No, I love it when. Oh my god, I love it when um Google think or Windows thinks I'm trying to open up a different fucking menu. Love that for me. Um, what earrings did I give him? Did I give him the? Uh, I gave him. Did I give them a mix of the two? No, it was just his... Okay. See, normally, Zhong Li has his earring on that side, right? You see? I put it on this side to make it, like, you know, match the other earring. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you can see on the monitor, I don't know if it actually comes up, but uh, this side looks a bit dark. I wouldn't say darker, I think it's got more colour than this little earring ear part, so I'm still gonna do that, because I think what Lamb Mama wanted to do was add a little bit of like shade and highlight to it, so yeah. Um, what else do I need from- Shadow, that's it! Shadow the Hedgehog. 
I have been thinking, he does kind of remind me of, like, Shadow the Hedgehog, if he was, you know, a rich man. And I don't know whether I should be happy or sad about that, because I do quite like Shadow the Hedgehog. I just don't want to be conceived as a Sonic fan. I don't want to be perceived. Conceived? Conceived. Conceived. I don't want to be perceived as a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Because <laughs> my friend is quite a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan. And um, most of the time he gets asked about um, CWC and stuff. So I think that's had a little bit of backlash amongst the Sonic fan community. But honestly, a lot of Sonic fans are cool. They all are cool. I like Knuckles and the... um. In Sonic Boom, he's he's coming. He's become a himbo. I like that about him. <laughs> I very much like that about a man. All right, I think that's enough that we got for the face. Eyes, eyes. I'm so dumb. What is my man gonna see out of? Nothing. Maybe. Maybe my man can see without his eyes. Oh, to see without my eyes. <laughs> Maybe man's can see without his eyes, who knows. Also, I remember talking about, um, not on here, but like on a different place. I remember talking about, um, whoever made the, uh, the backing track to, uh, Hope in the Dark by Luxian needs to have their ass ate ASAP. That song is a banger. Like, the mix of the jazz and the vocals. Where did where did they find these men who could sing so well? Like, holy shit. Even Vox can sing, like, amazingly. It's wild. Alright, okay. I was getting this eye colour, that's right. What was I saying? Um... Need that blue? I found it to be, when I first like tried to make this come to life, um, the mix of the pinks and the blue was quite nice, but it was kind of just a little bit jarring because mostly the pupils on him, on, you know, the model are quite small, but I tried to also make them quite small, they're kind of big. They're also kind of quite close to the eye line, so I tried to work with like whatever colors I could, but uh, it didn't turn out great in the end. But uh, I tried, but I'm gonna try again, see if it works. If it does, then hallelujah, hallelujah, it'll be okay. Uh, is that it? All we need for his face? Yeah, I can see why Shoto likes him now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... That is one VTuber I really want to draw, want to have a go drawing at. Um, Shoto, I think he's very cool. His fans, uh... Especially on, Twi on TikTok. There are some to behold, but other than that, I think he's a very cool dude. A very cool dude. And I know that, like, I shouldn't really kind of talk about the fans when I'm talking about the person, but they kind of just give me the ick, you know? And I know they're young, but it's just... Oh, God. Why? But, yeah. Alright, um... So... I'll turn the opacity down. And, uh, where's my favourite pen? Do I not have it? Where are you? Oh! <gasps> my favourite pen in the entire world. My favourite pen in the entire- Why are you not drawing? Why are you not working? Hold on. There we go. Alright. Stabilisation is way up. Lucky Myung's pen! Because if you go lightly... I go... <laughs> light, 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 light. It's so good for, like, just everything. Alright, okay. I kind of want to make him look a little bit alive, maybe. Yeah. 
doodle doodle. And then get your eraser. Erase other things in too. I'll show that then. I think, yeah, we'll work with that. And then go down there. Okay. Give him a little bit of, you know, pizzazz maybe. And then, obviously, my guy's got to have his eyelashes because eyelashes are important. They keep your eyes from getting injured. <laughs> I'm totally talking on my arse here. Quite magnificent. But eyelashes are important because no matter if you're masculine or not, you got eyelashes. And that's what I learned while drawing, guys. Um, they'll still have eyelashes no matter how masculine you make them look. They will still have eyelashes because eyelashes are important to males as well. I mean, it's mostly human anatomy. I did not mean to do that. Need to follow it. Got the winged eyeliner, so I kind of want to give him a little bit of a, a wing, maybe. Okay, just. Okay, slay. I like it. Uh, just for like a reference. Just if you're like also a beginner artist, you don't have to follow the line art word for word. I think using the line art as like the kind of like sketching as a guide so that when you get around to actually making the artwork, you can alter it to whatever you want, like want it to be. For example, I added the like liner, the winged line. This little damn, he's gonna look good. With wing Has he got like eyelashes? He doesn't. Okay, it's just a wing island. Hello, John Lee. Um, yeah. You gotta like, you don't have to work with the uh, line art, just make adjustments as you go. Now what I like to do, I like to, god this thing is like actually quite huge so I have to like really just kind of roughly colour it in. You can see how I'm not colouring outside the lines because I got this little number on. The, oh, it's, it's just like a lock thing which makes it like, you know. For example, if I was just to go like that, I'd be calling outside the lines. Outside the actual, like, object. But if I do that, I don't go outside the line, baby! It's so cool! I remember when I first started um, doing, like, proper digital art with this, I was like, this is amazing. I have so many, like, proper things. I have, like, so many opportunities to make good art. So, yeah. Over here, you add the tiniest bit of. Oh shit! Wait, that's not aligned. Hold on. Where is it? Right here. Hey, Dad. Little baby, go there. You move that across so it's like kind of lined up. Oh, yeah. And then if I need to, I can just... I can still rub it out with... Oh, I can't, never mind. I was about to say, I can still rub it out. I can't. The... Oh god, fuck. Um... My door keeps slamming because the wind keeps pushing it. Which is fine, but a little bit... Uh... Where are you? Just... A little bit more here. Want to make it a little bit more, you know, nicer, thinner. I think.
think another great thing I found out about doing digital art is that no matter what size your piece is, always make it bigger. For example, this is... that's a whopping 4087 pixels by 5600... 5600 pixels? 5600 pixels? Yeah. I am losing my mind. Okay, so that's like... 4,000 pixels by 5,000 pixels. That's a pretty good size. Because even though it looks like kind of pixelated when I like go up to it, if you like go out, it doesn't. It looks kind of like a raster layer or like a vector layer. Obviously not really a vector layer, but you know what I mean. Um, I find it looks a little bit odd here, so I'm going to round it out. Because my guy does have a little bit of a... It's... Hold on. Let me... We just clear. Oh, it's blur. Oh god, that's blur. <laughs> just spin it out like that. So there we go. Obviously, that's gonna look, it still looks a bit thick. Thick with two C's, so what we do, we just end that out. There we go. Looks a bit better. And then, what I like to do with uh, a lot of my artwork. I have to as I take a light kind of reddish color similar to like kind of like a dark brown reddish color and I take the kind of art brush nice that was the wrong place to do it let's put it there it looks a little bit more dimensional the red And then what else I do is I go here, multiply. That's not it. The line is that? No. Is it lighten? Lighten. And what I like to do is I took it there. Then the next part, I go to add glow. And I take a little bit of a white. And then or to make it a little bit more, you know, straight. Actually, no, hold on. Let me turn that up a bit. And then I like to put it on where the eye is. So, there. So, like, give, like, the extra kind of shine. I want to do here. And it depends on what I'm like, what character I'm drawing. If I'm drawing more kind of girly characters, for example, I would do the eye shines quite light. But if I'm doing male characters, I do it quite dark. But if I wanna, if I wanna do it a little bit lighter, I will always just go to if I can. Hold on, duplicate layer, and then I could just adjust it to how much brighter I want to put it there. There we. go go okay so this little part here actually serves as the kind of uh i wouldn't say it's like kind of like a guide more like kind of like a actually yeah it's a, it's a guide of um where the eye white will finish and where it will start and with the eye white did i get his eye whites no i didn't i didn't but as you can see here his eyes aren't totally like white blaring like this so that this can actually stand out against like the sclera part over here then all i do did it just turn up hold on wait let me save it so i don't lose it let's get that part wink and i think that was line no okay uh Grab that as well, actually. It's a good idea. There we go. Did I grab this part? I don't. 
I'm gonna grab it again, just in case. I did probably grab it. I just don't remember if I did actually. <laughs> uh, so then, uh, what, else? what I do is next I do the eyes. Uh, grab this. Try to which one's like this one. Nope, that's the wrong layer. Oh god. That's the exact same layer, actually. I just colour it in. My heart's content. Normally I do this after I do the um I do this after doing the skin, but I kinda want to do the eyes first just to show you guys how I do it instead of wasting a lot of time on skin. Because even though skin's important, I think I like the eye technique is really important. So I just get that off. You know, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Uh then I go under here. Is that it? I kind of make it like angular before it dips down. Let me add the uh what's it called? The uh the layer, the the clip layer. The clip mask. I keep getting what it rub rub rub. And then what I like to do is- Oh god, I keep forgetting it's not my, my iPad, so I can't just rotate it with my fingers. It bl does rub out, no. I sometimes like, like to make it hard depending on what kind of art sound is- Oh, uh, hold on. That's better. And then, just rub that out. Closer, there we go. And then just blur the fuck out of this line. And then I turn it down a bit. Oh, I keep forgetting it's not my iPad. I keep wanting to like rotate it. On my iPad. There we go. And then what else I like to do is I like to take like kind of like a morph kind of color so where is it where is it? i saw it before did i did i round that was it i think it was in one of these color palettes um take one of these or like kind of like a color close to purple so around a um here maybe and i find that layer Actually, no, was I supposed to do that? Do that before, and then I go here. Add a little bit of a kind of line to show that there's like a, there's like a kind of shadow there. And then add that as a layer. And what I do is I make that oh God, a little bit thicker, actually, so it can actually show up. And then what I do is I blur that out, but not as much as the other layer. And then I blur this one out. So you can still kind of see the distinct line that I made. And then what I do is I actually go over a little bit and I make that a little bit more kind of pronounced. Not as pronounced as it would be. I add it behind the eye a little bit, so if I remember where put the see if I can bring them up. That's gonna be on that layer, no. Uh, what is it? this layer? 
Put it behind the eye a little bit. And I blow that out. Make it there, actually. Blur it out a little bit. I uh, make the intensity of the blur a little bit less. Just go to ham until I find that it's at a blur that I like. Like there. And there. Then a little like that. And then when I get around to actually doing the pupil, it'll hide behind the pupil. Because you can sort of see it blur, it blurs. And then we go to the actual iris making. Uh, now with irises, I hate making irises. Quite down, I hate making irises just because sometimes it doesn't match with the other one, or it's just very annoying and tedious. Uh, and then sometimes I also like to like switch my switch it up on myself, and just where did I put it? There you go. I just make it a different colour, so what I normally do is I put the darkest colour, no, the lightest colour at the bottom, and work around it, so that's the blur tool again. Make it look like that. And sometimes also it's very annoying because sometimes eyes can come in different shapes and sizes. Is that going to be a... See how that looks so far. Okay. Alright, but because... Actually, no, I'm supposed to make the darkest layer. I'm so... I'm so silly sometimes. I don't like the fill tool with a... That's not it. With, um... CS paint because it gives, like, kind of like a... Kind of pixelated... Um... Part around the eyes. So it gets really pixelated more than it does over here. So um very bad. Um actually I do wanna check something quickly. I can delete this layer if I need to, but does it uh, doesn't reach the end. So what I do is take this colour. Just gently go like that to the edge. And then rub it out, whatever I need to. That goes to the edge, and that is just like not there. But I kind of like it there. I'm gonna keep it and just blend it out as much as I can. That's not what I was meant to do. Blend that out a little bit. That kind of gives a shadow effect to it. Or it gives like a kind of 3D dent. Also gives like a little bit shadow to the side of the eye as well. Also, I know it's going to make him look high as balls because it's red, but don't worry. I think it kind of will sort it out itself out with like the yellow color of his eyes. Um, so I kind of do like to keep with the kind of same visual, but um. I realized that Zhongli's eyes also kind of look similar because they're also kind of yellowish. They've got like kind of like a red undertone, so I kind of want to incorporate that into it. Um, so what I normally do first, if I'm adding any kind of like shadow on top that I want to stay, I will normally add it with kind of darker version of it. So here, go here, turn it down, get around there maybe? Get this bad boy on. Get this bad boy on. Crank that bitch all the way up. That's not the right layer, is it? No. <laughs> See? If I crank that up. Because shadows don't always have to be kind of like a dark grey or like a or like a, a, a darker version of a colour. It can always be a different colour that you can always choose and make it look kind of visually like you know, wow. Make it look wow sometimes. And then what I do is I hide that for now, because we'll sort that out later. Is that a... hold on. 
Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Keep that hidden. And there we go. Make the shadows first. So, I should probably actually use the colours I was given in the, the thing. Uh, first of all, what I do is I do the kind of outline-ish thing. Trying to make it a little bit darker and thicker at the top, and then I kind of slow down, make it thinner at the bottom. So, and then what I do is I blur out only the these parts so it's not too kind of vibrant too violent and then i turn that down a bit and then what i do is you wait where's that hell is there okay this go to add glow that's not right hold on wow look vibrant that's the basis for our eye shine because at the bottom of the eyes it's normally kind of lighter and at the top it's always darker so we got that there so and then what i really love about add glow is that it always makes it look nice it adds like a kind of like a darker ring to it so it makes it look like they're actually quite shiny so what i do i'm gonna add it to the right to the bottom noise and out those little wispy bits just kind of violently blur this to the moon and back basically violently blur that to the moon and back and then what we do because we all need we all have pupils right some people don't some people choose not to add pupils i'm gonna add the kind of black people that's not it that's a blur tool again and um Depending on what kind of view I wanted to have, kind of just eyeball it there. Get it? Eyeball it? Ha! Uh, eyeball. Um. But <laughs> ah, don't. Should really add that as a sound alert. <laughs> uh, um. And then what I do is I get a white, and then I add a little bit of shine at the top because. Oh wait, that's actually looking really good! Wait, wait, hold on! I turn that layer to, again, add glow. And just... Shh. Again. Go violently. Can I, can I duplicate it? Thank you. No? Am I not allowed to duplicate? There we go. Duplication! Duplication's good, because then if you want to add more to a layer that looks quite dull or kind of um, see-through as 100%, always like multiply it so then you can always just kind of, you know, uh, sort it out to your heart's content. So around there's good. I just make it a little bit like... There we go. There's a little bit of the uh, of the people coming out there, it looks quite good. And then what I do, because there's a little bit of eye shine. Um, next we can sort out a little bit of uh, shadow that's going on. That's the outer line. Do is... What I like to do is, why is it not, add a little bit of there, that it matches the start of the shadow of the people, but obviously because eyes are kind of circular, 
you gotta go around. And then because I don't like the colour, I'm just gonna go over it again. Does that- yeah, that looks good. That's a nice colour. And then, uh, along with that red kind of undertone that I'm actually gonna put on the bottom layer and darken it a bit. Actually, maybe if I multiply. And then I'm gonna have to make this layer a little bit darker. And then, ah, hold on. about that um so what we do is we make this a little bit darker there we go yeah that looks pretty good and then because you're gonna have eye shines kind of like coming from each direction um always add one over here I always manage to. That's that's just a little under. And then what I do? Oh God no! I always kind of just make it align, kind of, and I blur this out. And then we do the thing again. We go to add glow. So then it actually kind of looks part of it. What I want to do actually is I want to see if I can do a little cool trick that I kind of learnt while figuring out uh, where's our base? That's our base. Take all that off. Do that one as well. But I want to keep the kind of gold. Where's the gold thing? There we go. So I know where to put it. Um. What I want to do is I want to make kind of like a glowy iridescent kind of look to his eyes. Because I know he's got the blue and the pink and I kind of want to add that in. What I do is I go like that. Not too fat of strokes. Go all the way around. I just want to see how it works because I still want to incorporate the blue and the ink into this because I think that was it. Then I think that's a good place to stop and then we go in because obviously it looks a bit too far away to uh, put them in now so what I do is over here go all the way to the white because that's the only way it will work. Add the lines in there. I'll figure out where to put this once I finish it. It looks like that. And then what I do is we blur that shit out. You're crazy. Again, add glow. I should maybe blur it out a bit too much. Go to add glow again. What I do is I turn it down, and then we just kind of blur it out a bit. See how that looks. You know what? I might sound a bit crazy, but I kind of like it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I kind of actually like the addition. It. I'd have to move the little kind of streak of light. Where do you go? Great. There you are. I'm gonna have to move that down. I think. Maybe here. And then. I just actually no. What I want to do is I'm gonna move that, give that in there. 
be around. Yeah. And then what I do is if I want to add like real dimension to the artwork, because I'm still not used to rendering yet. What I like to do is I like to add a little bit of a, a light, light double with white, kind of make shine. And then what I do, add bow! And then I blur the bitch out. Blur that bitch out. So that there's still a little bit of shine in there, make it look kind of 3D. But yeah, I think so far, I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, now here's my favorite part, eyeshadow. I really like adding eyeshadow to different characters. Obviously, I'm gonna add the eyeshadow to Mr. Vox Kuma, because why not? But first I need to add his- oh, hello, shall we? <laughs> I need to add the uh, eye creases. Now, I think Lam did it in red, which does look nice, but I think if I add like kind of like a neutral skin tone colour underneath, make it a little bit lighter, I think it'll look nice for mine. So, that is the eyes, the eye iris um we go we have like a lot of layers a lot of people seem to think that you can work on just like one layer as it is nobody no no that is not how it works before like the whole technology of just like working with multiple layers came about yes but right now no, you cannot work with one layer, just one layer. If, if it's like a specific piece that only needs one layer, yes, but if you're working with a lot of different like aspects to a like a like a artwork, it's got like visible places that overlap. For example, it's got like the coat here, it's got like the shirt, the backing part, obviously so go to backing part, shirt collar, and then this part of the shirt. Obviously you're gonna need layers. Obviously the back, the hair. Gonna need head pieces to go down that way. It does a lot to an artwork that needs multiple layers, and it's it, it's like it, it needs multiple layers, more layers, more layers are better. Did I add any of the tags? Did Twitch add any of the tags I put in? I don't think they did. Hold on. Hold on. Let me sort that out for myself. I do that all by myself. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Uh, B to uh, that twice. Give me one second while I do this and I'll get back to it. Oh shit, I didn't say it. Hold on. There we go. Um... There we go. Alright. That's done. Done. There we go. Alright, sick. That's all I need to do. Ah, okay, back to up. So we've got the eyes. We've got the, uh... Iris. We've got the pupil. We've got the... Eyelash. And we've got the, uh, kind of... Eye white down. So, um, here's a little trick that I like to do because I'm lazy. I'll show you when I get around to it. But, um, it'll just make this not look so kind of. Oh god. It always scares me when I take off layers and I just receive this HP Lovecraftian horror on my screen. For example, if I just take that off, terrifying. But if I put the eyeliner on, back on. Ooh. Oh, amazing! Spectacular! Let's do the uh, eye creases then. Uh, 
So uh, we go to my favourite pen, Lucky Myung. Then you can see I carefully... That's the rubber! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm a mess today. I forgot to mention, um, I thought my PC had enough. I thought it was the complete end of my PC this morning. Last night when I was doing a lot of uh, prepare, 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 preparations for today's stream, um, my computer just went and it just turned off by itself and I'm like, okay, it kind of does a habit of doing it. It kind of has a habit of doing that. And I'm thinking, that's going to be okay. It'll be fine for like tomorrow. I wake up, um, my PC kept crashing. Uh, my monitor wouldn't stay on for less than five seconds without the screen going to black, then going back to normal screen, then flickering to black, and then going back to normal screen. And the monitor that I'm using right now just wouldn't even turn on. And I just like, I checked every plug. I checked every like, you know, socket. I checked if everything was okay. Everything was fine, but it just wouldn't turn on. And I got so frustrated that I cried several times until my friend was like, hey, have you checked the drivers? I did that. Everything's okay now. Oh, that was that was that was oh, that made me so stressed this morning. But I'm so glad that it like fixed itself in time, so I could watch the um, Genshin. God, sorry, the Genshin two, uh, three point one live stream, my friends. I was so happy. That live stream was amazing. Let me just preface this. This this is more than I could ever ask for. Genshin and I know a lot of people are like oh that's the bare minimum though like I like the fact that we can get a little buddy like the Seelies that can just run around with us I think it's adorable I'm gonna name mine Peppermint I don't know why that's the first name that just kind of went into my head that's better because that part was kind of it isn't I can't tell if that- it, it, it does look a bit angular. No, that looks okay. That's alright. Yeah. Alright, let's get on with this, uh... Line. What's really bugging me at the moment is I can't find my, uh, drawing glove, which I normally wear to protect the screen, but I can't find it, so I'm having to use the sleeve of my jumper, and it's not going well. I mean, actually it is, but the jumper kind of gets in the way. So, we make a line like this. And because I don't normally, like, I've only just started getting back into adding I kind of creases to my artwork. I kind of feel like, ah, oh, doesn't look like something. But don't worry, it'll always be. It'll be fine. I do. I just make that a little bit more saturated. Am I right? No. Uh, there's number one of my grief with uh drawing on tablets and drawing on um electronic things because I always seem to draw on the same goddamn layer every time. Let me just okay. Get it around. I always seem to draw on the same goddamn layer. It's not optimal, it's not good, because sometimes that layer will be either kind of just add, uh, have like a different uh, multiplication on it. So, for example, if I go to the add glow layer and just draw on that, it's not going to look good and it's not going to come up anyways. So, it's, it's very it's annoying. <laughs> I have major gripes with a Drawing tablet sometimes. But I definitely made the right choice by getting this one. There was a couple of others on the market that I was going to get, but I was like, you know what? I like Lion Friends. I don't have enough cute things in my life, so you know what? I'm getting it. 
the scroll wheel has a little picture of Bonnie on it and I was like I want this so badly and so I got it it was like I think 200 pounds but you got like a lot of things with it so you got like um you got a uh, cleaning uh, microfiber cloth but like the pen you got like extra pen lids uh nibs sorry <laughs> You got the stand for it, you got like the cables and everything, so it came with a lot of things that actually seem to be pretty helpful. And are pretty helpful. So, uh, yeah. The one thing I don't recommend on if you're getting a drawing tablet is if you're going to be out and about a lot. I think just sticking to like a normal iPad or a different kind of drawing tablet or even just like one that you can take like on the road and stuff those would be better than this one because this one you always have to have look like like plugged into a computer and it's like mm, not the best if you're out and about but yeah it's pretty good if you're like why is this wonder eyeshadow that's it all right but here's here's a, here's a little thing right people say that copying eyes are let me just do this now to the show so people say that copying eyes is cheating right so a lot of people were like oh you've got to draw the other eye and you have to draw it perfectly no motherfucker you don't have to draw the other eye how do you think i have been coping this entire time have i given up no i just simply do a little trick called duplication and swapping and seeing if fits if it fits. So what I do is I if I still need to like work on the eye, what I do is I just make a folder. Make a folder for it. And then what I do is add everything to the folder. Very like slowly. It'll, it'll look a bit messed up when you add everything, but I'm supposed to add something up here as well. I'm pretty sure I actually added something to a layer. There you go, hold on. There we go. That's one layer. We just add that. Add that again. Add that again, add that again, and that should be everything. Have I just closed that? Hold on, where'd it go? Right here, baby. So that should be the... Okay. And then next, what I do is I just keep adding everything I need to be in there. And with this, nothing is fixed to what it is so what i mean by that is is that everything oh eyes gone where'd it go right here buddy is duplicate and then you just sort that out over here obviously it's gonna look a bit weird because boxy baby you're looking a bit uh mm. so i don't see what so what i do is thank you is it looking? Um, I feel like it needs, this eye needs to be a little bit longer, maybe, but I'm not sure. But what I do is, um, because I don't need to do, I don't think I need to do anything to do as I. So, just copy. You add this all down to the next layer. 
Actually, no, what you can do is, if you still need to walk on the eye, I think I know what I can do. Hold on. So. Okay, that works. And then, so what you do is you take another mind. Copy that. Take all the things that you don't need. And then I'm pretty sure. That's not it. You can select all the layers that you need. No. Okay, yes. Select all the layers that you do need. Move it. And then, hopefully should be fine if I just apply transformation right magic and obviously I need to sort it out a bit like um, placement and stuff but overall it's pretty good for it so for example this it over there. Is it where the eye is? Rotated. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I like it. Um. Yeah, I need to continue with the. So obviously, if you if you hear people say, "Oh, copying is cheating," there's no cheating in art. Okay, there's only good ways to go around complicated things that get you really messed up and get you really upset. I just realized I need to move something. Hold on. <laughs> All right, hold on. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Move you. Take you. There we go. Nice. Looking good. Now with like the eyeliner, you can just kind of wing it. That was a bad joke on my behalf. I'm so sorry. You could just wing whatever, like, it doesn't have to be symmetrical because, you know, eyeliner is not very symmetrical most times. It's not the, it's not like super, like, identical. So if you want to add like a little bit of like, oh, maybe like a little bit of flick there or just kind of like a, a mess up somewhere, that makes it look a little bit more like authentic for some people and it makes it look like kind of like it looks a bit rustic, you know. It makes it look nice, I think. A lot of people will say, oh, it looks messy. You try getting eyeliner perfect on the first fucking try, my guy. You try it. It is not, it's not easy. That's why I don't wear eyeliner. And of course, with the eye crease as well, we can copy that and we can put that over there. And then we just back that up a bit so it gets to the spot of the eye. There we go. Let me get the eyeliner. And then what I do is I make again this one. I like to make it a little. And then obviously I'm gonna have to rub it out because it's gonna be in the way of the uh in the way of the hair and we don't want that. What I do is rub this out. A little bit dimension if you rub it out. There we go. 
Beautiful, gorgeous man. Beautiful, gorgeous man. <laughs> Alright, so then go to this side as well. Is this a... Uh... Okay, maybe. <laughs> Need to rub that out again because it's on the wrong layer. Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah, 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 it's the wrong layer. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, so yeah, this is looking good. This is looking perfect. Let me get a little bit of. I just feel. Like... I'm gonna do it anyways because it's like when cosplayers have cosplays that have like only cover one of their eyes that have their eyes covered let's do the other one anyways it's gonna be worth it because when you take off the eye patch or when you take off like the headgear or the thing it's gonna look perfect ah i do want to add a more flare to his eyes that is what i will do on a second why is your little eye buddy all the way there? you should be the other side where is it there it is but yeah this is what i mean with eye shines because if you have your eye shines in the exact same place like duplicated it's gonna look a bit derpy you know it's gonna look a bit uh odd my guy what we do Take that. Oh, okay. Supposed to be a bit higher. Take that. Go, okay. But it's not so derpy. And it doesn't look odd. Let me just put that a bit higher, actually. There we go. So it actually matches, and it looks like, kind of like, the uh, light's coming from this way. Uh, speaking of light, I hate light. I hate anything to do with light um, theory in artwork. Um, I just normally say fuck it and do whatever I can to rectify what I've uh, done. Because <laughs> art theory and just light theory in general is so fucking hard for me to get my head around. It's very complicated to me and she is not beautiful to me. She is not. Someone lied to her several times. Very much so. That. And obviously with this it's gonna go into the way of the hair, so what we do is we make it a little bit more angular. Make it look like from the side. There we go. Get up that brush density as well. Okay, maybe not. Um, ha ha ha! How big is it on? Wait, hold on. Okay, it goes up and up. so I can actually put a little bit above. Probably there, maybe. Yeah. I know most of it has just been the eyes. I think I will continue this probably next week as well if I don't get it finished. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on stream doing it because I'm still trying to keep within the two hour mark just so I don't get burnt out and stuff. Because I, th I think that's what a lot of people are worried about when they get to Twitch affiliate. They get they don't want to get burnt out. They don't want to experience like not liking uh, streaming anymore due to being burnt out so much. And I hope that doesn't happen to me. But if I keep to this kind of schedule of me playing for two hours and then having the entire rest of the day to relax, I think it's a good kind of recipe for success, basically. I think it's a good kind of recipe that I want to keep up with. Obviously, when I get like more stamina to do longer streams, I will. I think it's just now. I want to start off easy and I want to start slow so that I can build endurance. <laughs> so yeah. Um, 
before we do add the eye um, eyeshadow, just so I'm not confused, I think I will do the skin, maybe? So, oh boy. I have to get the... Get the outline colour. Put that there. That there. And then what I do is I get whatever colour that is. A very dark brownish, I think. Hold on. A very... Oh, wow, that is just... That is just black. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. We get it, loud mama. He's an emo. <laughs> but uh, what I do is I go down to one of the last days. I think what's really important is to keep the face as one of the... The face is basically the base layer to your artwork. Or to my artwork, at least. And, um... Having it at, like, the base of... An art piece really keeps it coming together that whatever I need to do I can just add on to the face instead of having to add on to other pieces oh god no okay stabilization get crank that up to 15 50 15 50 crank that up to 50. get some of that Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ. I think maybe getting it up to 50. Run around town. I kind of want to make his face look symmetrical. Maybe I want to. Someone's cooking something really nice outside and I can't. Concentrating on. I can't tell if that's gonna be. I might have to make the face a bit bigger actually because it doesn't seem like it's gonna fit. Um, I'll just see what I can. Because I think the problem is most of it's being hidden by the hair, so I cannot tell. <laughs> Um, let's get that picture. Uh, I should have really kind of drawn the face. Because it does look a bit weird. Um. Hmm. Rotated, actually. see it rotated back around hold on bye I think that go up a bit more yeah I think that works I'm just gonna have to go with it because most of it will be hidden by the hair anyways so fine um let me hide the little mascara bits actually let me because I don't know what I'm going to do until I put the eyeshadow in. So, I think, because Zhong Li doesn't... Oh, my guy has the red underline. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll play that into the design somehow. Um, let me just do his ear quickly. His little earlobe. His little ear. Little... It's, it's not little ear, it's kind of actually big ear. I remember not liking your ears. I remember when it was like the bane of my existence for a good 10, 15 years of my life. So I just normally drew characters that have like, you know, the moppy hair at the side of the head. Until I actually started doing digital art and I was like, hey, this isn't so bad. And now look at me. I'm an earlobe pro. That no, shouldn't have said that. I <laughs> I keep thinking things are gonna be funny, and they just sound really bad. But I might call myself an earlobe pro, but I still 
don't know how the fuck earlobes go because you have that little bit in the ear on the inside of your ear that kind of looks like it's going towards your ear kind of like just this little thing this thing wait hold on this thing kind of looks like it's going in towards your lobe i normally i sometimes draw it like this which doesn't look right but then i think that does look right it's actually this way that's actually not a bad idea <laughs> oh my god but yeah sometimes i can't tell what way things go for ears fun fact i actually don't have my earlobes pierced at all um i saw the horrors that my sister went through and I said, nah, chief, that's not for me. <laughs> Peace. Nope. And ever since then, I was like, I'm not getting my ears pierced at all. Uh, yeah. No ear piercings for me. Only just, you know, clip-ons. Which kind of, which are okay, but they, they really hurt a lot. They hurt quite a bit. Now, don't think of this as an exaggeration when I say this man is... Like, very, very much mayonnaise, because... Oh, wait! Wait, it actually... Wait, hold on. Okay, no, it's actually not that bad. Never mind, I'm just exaggerating. Maybe it's different on my iPad. Because I tried to do this on my iPad, and the colour just went pure white. But on my screen, it looks very much pink. So, I don't know what to believe anymore. I really don't. So, uh... Yeah, we got the face in. Let's see if we can actually get the face on today. Looking at the time, I don't know. And looking at how much we have to clean up. Looks like it's going to be quite a challenge. But I'll probably extend the drawing streams till next week. I might do... We always got Muse Dash Mondays. But, um, I'm not sure what else to do next week. I kind of do want to go back to Fall Guys, but I don't know when the next season's out. I think it's out next week or the week after. I'm not sure. Um, I really don't know. Uh, I do kind of want to do some more, um, Project Diva, maybe? If I can get that lag fixed. Or... I could start a different game, maybe? Probably do... Well, Mario. Uh, Mario 64. Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Galaxy. I do have the, uh... The little bundle they did. That, uh, limited edition, with air quotes, limited edition bundle they did that they actually didn't do for a limited time. Because you can still get it. The, uh, the... 3D All Stars. That's very fun. But maybe Luigi's Mansion even, because I really just want to kind of relive Luigi's Mansion again. I think I mentioned it in the yesterday stream with Hero that I uh, completed it in like two weeks. Because <laughs> I love that game so much. I remember, because this was like back in quarantine and I had no university to go to. Because ding dong, it was closed. So um, all I did in the month of May after I got my Switch, was just play Luigi's Mansion, and that was it. And that was literally it. I was like, this game is amazing. Top tier. It was- it's so fun. It is very fun. I really want to replay it again. But there are some games that I also kind of want to, like, try out. Uh, a cooking simulator might be a no-no because that game lags so goddamn much on my computer. I don't know why. It's like a, it's a, it's a simple cooking simulator. It's literally in the name. Why do you lag so much? And then I realized, yeah, my graphics card isn't the best, but I will try. Oh god, my my. Hey, Manju, Kimmy, hello. How you doing? Um. But yeah, my... Because I had to install new graphic drivers today, maybe? 
That might have sorted out my uh, graphics problem. I say maybe with like a grain of salt. <laughs> um, I also kind of want to try out a new time for streaming next week. So, uh, of course, of like the four o'clock stream, I kind of want to do five. I am doing good. I'm doing very good. We got a uh, Mr. Vox Akuma here. We're doing the drawings. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good. I forgot how daunting it is to draw on a tablet again. <laughs> like a proper tablet, not just an iPad. I've just grabbed this one and do it for light shading around the nostrils and nose. I'm not gonna lie, shading the face is probably it's so underrated in the art community because people are like, I hate face shading. And I'm just there, give me the face to shade. I will do it for you. Because I love face shading. I think it's so fun. But like, depending on like, this, like where the lighting's come from, there's so many different opportunities for it. And even though I hate light theory, I love shading so much. And then you just, ah, you shade it and you blend it and it makes it look like a shadow makes it look so that is that on the same fucking ah you hate my life thank you i try my very best where is let's do the no that's not it clip layer clip layer first of all let's get the i'm not sure if i want to do my normal way of noses or do i actually want to do like a proper nose? See how a proper nose grows in here. That's not even doing anything. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, that's a it's a bit too close. How about you actually turn the stabilization down? Obviously, I'm gonna kind of just see how. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, no. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Oh, no. I remember back when I did a lot of uh, K pop fan art, I would always do noses like this. That always kind of like showed in the nostril. And then, like, everything. No! I'll see with this. I, w I, w I want it to be kind of like a, a a light kind of nostril. So I want the shading to do all the work, basically. And then I think for the lips, I, d I don't know what to do. Let me get the shading out of the way. Might be the best way. That is not the right shading colour. Is it? Hold on. That was. Yeah, that one was. Smooth like butter. Goes on smooth. And you just kind of derail it from there. And you smooth that bitch out. And then you add shading to other places. Uh, for example, how long have I been drawing? I have been drawing most of my life, actually. I think the first couple of memories I have of me drawing is um, when I was little. And um, the only things that I would exclusively try to draw was the Krusty Krab on like A3 paper. Just the Krusty Krab. And that's it. Nothing else. No, like, characters. Just the Krusty Krab from Spongebob. And that was it. And I don't know what, like, kind of resonated with me so much in that, like, barrel. It kind of just looked fun to draw. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. And then... My, um... I think that was, like, 
I'm not sure what we bought, but like there was like a lot of foam that we had. So I just started drawing on the foam as well. Um I think I drew who was it? Um Kimmy Turner or something on like just foam. And it was like, oh, this is kind of fun actually. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do this for like the rest of my life. And I was like, that's how I knew I wanted to be an artist. <laughs> Just, you know, draw the Krusty Krab a bunch of times on A4 pa like A3 paper. And there you go. You have a reason to become an artist. And then... It kind of gives, you know, the face a little bit more dimension. If you just, like, make little scratches. And then we go to... This was the... Alright, sick. Okay. Put a shade here. That's not it. Hold on. There we go. I think I will need to go over and just lightly erase by the lines of the face, but I think everything should be alright. Everything should be dandy. And make that one a little bit darker, because there's actually going to be a sh object there. rub that out. Schmexy, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Look at that face. Hot face. Hot body. <laughs> That's not the right colour. There we go. Wow. I feel like I might actually have to over the shading to make it a little bit darker, maybe? I'm not sure. I think I'll just outline the shading with the shading used for the M. And it might actually work a little bit better. Give a little bit more dimension and depth. And then back here. Build it there. Take that. Take this. And yeah, a little bit more coloration to it by going over the parts that you've already kind of blended out and just blur it out a bit again. See how that looks. Doesn't look too bad. Okay. And uh, we add. Where is it? Wait. That's all the shading. Another layer for shading, but you make it the so layer on top of another one. So this one for the no. Make a little bit of a shape. Okay, that'll be the kind of nose area. Be lightly. Need this. Let me just about that. You can make it bigger, actually. It looks like... 
Oh god. Is it raw? Make it. And then what we do is so we get the add glow. We back to this one. Sort of shine. Just blur the fuck out of that bitch. Because as much as we love to see him glow, he's not a geo character. He's a... Okay. Alright, yeah, that, 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 that will do. And then, obviously, for the bottom, you've got to add the tiniest bit of shading underneath because you've got like this, the. What is that called? The. The bump between the two. The, um. What is that called? It's not cartilage, is it? No. Hold on. I can't remember what it's called. It's the part between the lips and the nose. It's kind of like. What is that called? Hold on. Face. I can't remember what it's called, but it's gonna annoy me, so I'm gonna look it up now. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like search up when I get, when I get off stream. This is gonna bug me. That's like this part. So it's always optimal to get a darker version. Make that a little bit lighter. And then you just blend and blur the fuck out of it. So then, intensity blur. Make it into a little triangle shape. Let me turn that down a bit so that it's still there. Which... I want to work on the aisle better before I go. But I put that here. So if I finish up the eyeshadow and the lips, I should be good for this stream. Um, obviously there's still a lot more to do, but I think it'd be better if I start off the stream, the next art stream, with what I'm doing now, so that it's more cohesive and you guys don't have to sit through me like just explain what I'm doing again. So long part here. A little bit to the end and then and because it's gonna be near the hair this time, so I kinda want it or get the intensity of the book. I want it to be a little bit blurred here so that it can merge into the other colour that I'm going to do down there. But when I say uh, eyeshadow, I kind of just mean a light dusting of another shade. So I go here, that gives it more dimension. That it's not just one like colour just there. Another colour there that gives it dimension. Besides, right, so we're gonna have to incorporate the kind of Albany kind of colour underneath Zhongli's eyes into this, so somehow I will do that. And then what I do is I turn down and I drop that down here. 
and then we blur the line between the two so that's a seamless conversion of colors that still look like the circle that he has on his eyes then what we do here and another layer down there wait is that the um so he's got that thing there so there's strongly so what i'm gonna do is take that color this color and go where are you where are you up here where's the mixing pot oh there was a mix there we go color mixing so i hit you Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay, no, here. And then... Turn on it. Nope, okay, hold on. I know what to do. I know what to do. Go here. Get that colour, put that there. Get this colour. And then... There, and then what I do is mix the two together. Make a sort of in between shade that matches both of them. It also looks like I just kind of color matched it to the uh. Hold on. Um. How would I even Okay yeah it is taking it. Alright. Then what I do I take this one and lightly go underneath the eye. Right underneath there. Dimension. It look like a kind of I wouldn't say eye bag. But then when I go like that... Oh, hello. What was that? And then it gives that sort of dimension to it. Obviously I need to do the other eye, so I'll do that. Uh... There we go. There we go. Got that part done. I'm gonna add the little kind of eye thing, the little eye tear duct thing, but I think I will probably do that next stream because it's coming up to two hours. So, two hours in, I will start the next part of the face up and um, getting everything completed and sexy. So far we got this, which doesn't seem like a lot, but considering that we had to deal with the eyes and the eyelash and we had to deal with like everything else and getting the like the fucking work for it and the art, I think it's been quite a successful stream, I'd say so far. So yeah. Um That's all from me today, boys. It was fun very fun i'm probably gonna do another stream like this maybe next week and i might do two who knows but yeah thank you for joining me guys it was fun i'll see y'all later bye